If you've ever gone to work out and you found yourself running out of time, daydreaming, lollygagging, and not getting the things done that you had intended to, this video will help you out. Yeah. Let's go. What's going on everybody? This is AJ Webb, your SLV Health Wellness Coordinator, and this video is all about organizing your workout. And it's really about practical tips to help you stay on task when you go into the gym, right? It takes a little bit of prep work, it takes a little bit of practice, but once you get yourself a system down, you're gonna be able to go in, do the exercises and the things that you wanna do, help your own results, and you'll be a happier worker outer. Tip number one is to have yourself a plan. There are lots of workout programs and plans and maybe you got your custom one and maybe you know how to make one for yourself. That's good. Starting with a plan, that's tip number one. Okay. Now, if you can go by feel, go by feel. Good for you. That is a, an awesome skill to have. But if you find yourself not meeting your fitness goals or you know, there's things that you want to accomplish with your own personal health and wellness, consider this as an experiment to monitor how you're using your time while you're working out. Now, if you got a plan, that's probably a, it's, it's a whole own video too. Um, figuring out a plan is hard, but if you're using a plan, that's a good place to start. Tip number next is to transcribe that plan onto something, whether it is a post-it, uh, whether it is a wrist coach, a note card, something that you can take with you. You could use your phone and if that works for you and you're not going to go goofing around on it in between sets, uh, go for it. Okay? Um, if it could distract you, then maybe you want to use something else, um, especially something that you're not going to have to turn on and off, something you can just, bam, take a look at. Me personally, I love a whiteboard. Love a whiteboard. I have a big 4x4 whiteboard in my home gym, and I know that's not practical for everyone, especially if you're working out anywhere that's not your home gym. But if you can have something... Transcribe your planned workout onto that so you can look and you can see and you can stay on task. Tip number next is time those things out. Take a guess at how long those things are going to take you, right? My typical workout looks like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, just kind of depends on what's going on. And I got 15 minutes dedicated to warming up, 10 minutes dedicated to exercise number one, 15 minutes dedicated to exercise number. You'll be able to manage your work, you'll be able to manage your rest. The thing that I encourage using, you can use some kind of a stopwatch or something like that. If you have the ability, get yourself some kind of a timer that'll let you pre-program those kinds of things, right? A 12 minute countdown, 10 minute countdown. You can maybe use your phone for that, maybe use your watch for that, or if you're working out in your home gym, get yourself a wall timer. Um, in this picture of this thumbnail, you can see my wall timer. It hangs right on top of my whiteboard. It can count up. It can count down. It can do a lot of nifty tricks. Those are available from prices 20 to hundreds of dollars. Very useful in helping you manage your time. I hope these are practical uh, tips that will help you work out. Keep your workout organized. Have a super day. Stop. Like and subscribe this video too before you get done. Toodaloo!